Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pre-Market News and Views by In The Money Stocks. My name is Nick Santiago. Today is Friday, January 8, 2016. We just got out the uh, non-farm payroll report for the month of December, and you can see futures have caught a pretty nice bid. They were already trading nicely higher already, but really they had a big, big spike, uh, traded up very, very sharply, now are stalling out a little bit. But nonetheless, futures are, right now are up about 24 points to 1957 per contract, so that's a pretty good pop this morning. That does not erase the damage that was done on the charts this week. There was some major, major selling pressure this week, and today we're getting back a little bit of a breather. We'll see if it can last into the closing bell, but nonetheless, um, you are getting a pop before the open, so we'll see how this plays out throughout the trading day. All right, a few stocks in the news. That's where we make our money. Let's go to the charts. First, we're going to start off with his best uh, is Bed Bath and Beyond Triple B Y, and what you're going to see here is the stock is trading at 45.65, closed at 46.51. So that's not telling us a whole lot. A level I do like for the stock, if it sells off, would be around 41 dollars. So that's the only thing I have for it right now at this point in time. This is an equity though that we will be looking at once the opening bell rings. So again, if you have not done so, come on over, take a seven-day free trial to the intraday stock chat. We've already started off with an awesome 2016 even in a down market we've been knocking the cover off the ball and you can do that with us all right let's take a look at cirrus logic c-r-u-s looks like this stock is catching a nice little bid today closed yesterday at 26.80 now trading at 27.35 this stock looks like it has put in a little temporary low so we're going to keep this one on the radar today as well for further upside again it is up uh, before the opening bell so we'll look at this one in a little while stock that is getting hit today gap stores gps is the ticker symbol stock traded yesterday on a closing basis at 26 74 26 dollars and 74 cents today it is trading down to 24 dollars and 25 cents this stock just does not have any conviction underneath it be very very careful here the only level that i'm seeing right now that looks even remotely decent would be around the 2385 level and i'm not even sure i like that level so again if you want to trade this alongside of us, come on over, take that seven-day free trial, and um, we'll be looking at this one once the opening bell rings today. But uh, uh, to be honest, right now, this is a very tough trade, and that's a pretty big sell-off. All right, let's take a look next at Corvo. That's Q-O-R-V-O. Uh, Let me just put that symbol in there. And you're going to see this stock right now is trading decently higher, closed at 45.64. Stock right now is trading at 42.71. So again, um, this stock for the most part is underwater. And um, what you're seeing here, it, is, it is come, has come off the lows. So we'll be looking at this one. This is a new issue. This stock has only been around since uh, January of 2015. So it makes, us, makes it a little bit tough for us to find exact levels. But uh, again, this one will be on our radar once the opening bell rings today. Let's take a look at TCS, which is the container store. This stock has just been absolutely annihilated, closed at $7.18, now trading at five thirteen. I got emails about this one already. This has just been on a straight downward trajectory since its IPO. Don't do anything with it. Maybe they'll support it at five. Maybe they won't. But it's not a stock that I would be looking to get in front of. Let it fall, and um, you could pick up the pieces after it gives you a rebound. But there's not much you want to do with this one at this point in time. Let's take a look at American Eagle Outfitters, ticker symbol AEO. Right now, if you take a look at the stock, you're going to see that it is trading at $13.94, closed at $15.88. This is not a pretty picture. This is a broken equity here. Um, there's a little bit of support at 14 but the only level that I really like for this stock would be around ten dollars and seventy five cents and again um, it could get there so don't rule that out but if you look at this stock around 1075 I think that's where traders could start to nibble in on the long side for a scalp play other than that I really wouldn't do much with it ahead of time all right gold mining stocks are getting hit today GDX that is trading lower closed yesterday at 
$14.88. If you were an In The Money Stocks member, you know 15 was my max move. Today, we are pulling off that level. Some other gold miners that are trading down. ABX, which is Barrick Gold, trading down at 839, closed at 875 yesterday. We'll be looking at all of these gold miners this morning uh, in the intraday stock chat room. Another one here is Newmont Mining, trading right now at 1827, closed yesterday at 1886. Another one is Gold Corp. Right now trading at 1235, closed yesterday at 1272. So you're getting a pullback in all of the gold mining names today. And that could uh, continue um, as you do have a sell-off in gold taking place. Gold futures right now are down $7. They were down more. Right now they're sitting right around the 1100 level. So we'll be watching that pretty closely. And then when you take a look at oil, oil is catching a bid up 18 cents to $33.45. Not going to make too much out of the oil market. It still continues to remain very, very weak. But we are at a pretty big double bottom from 2009, and that is important for crude. All right, we're going to leave it here short and sweet today. I want to wish you all a great trading day. Right now, S&P 500 E-mini futures are trading up by 24 points, and uh, we'll see how this market plays out once the opening bell rings. But remember, um, it is there is still a lot of activity going on out here, and that's where we make our money in this market. All right, with that being said, everybody, have a great trading day, and we'll see you on the charts.